Okay, hello guys, this is Charlie from 55, well channel 55, um, I'm here to talk to you about the build I'd done recently, um, I went to an island off of Salem, which was modded in, um, I can't remember the, who the mod author is, I'll try to link it in the description, but, um, basically, what I did is, I went there, and I decided just to, well, build, um, I've already got like the clip in where I've placed all the foundations and stuff. I've skipped through all that things, so it's basically just me building the actual structure of the shack now. And um, it was supposed to be like a player home on this island. Um, there's going to be another part to this. Um, it's mainly based on a player if you're playing through the actual thing of being like the sole survivor from Vault 111. So it won't really tie in law friendly with um, any like modded um, beginnings and things like that. Um, but yeah, so we're on this island in the middle of nowhere and the, the way you get to it is there's a boat um, just near like a fishing shack in Salem and you just sail there and it will take you here so what I'm doing now is I basically made scaffolding as our base like the base of the base if you know what I mean um, and then I put floors on it and I added a little boxcar part for the um, sort of entrance to it and um, now I'm just placing the shack walls and windows and things to give it sort of a um, sort of clean feel like I chose these ones because it gives it a clean feel whereas it still feels like it's a wooden coastal shack um, so I build all these I've got this cool balcony that goes through the little cave thing um, rock thing um, but in the next part there's going to be like a boat port and stuff so I'm just filling in the walls at the moment um, putting a door in I think yep yeah. Just checking what it looks like. Um, so what I do is I just also um, if you wonder why I've just got an odd like floorboard with holes in it, it's because under there I put a container where it's one of them vault trunks, and it's like it um, it's a vault one eleven trunk. That's why it kind of ties in with a soul survivor. So. Um, I'm going to put his jumpsuit in it in the next part probably, or the third part if there is one. Um, so yeah, at the moment we're just mucking around with the walls trying to get good placement with them. Um, since they don't snap to scaffolding, which I find fairly annoying. Um, so yeah, that's what we've got so far. And we start to see about roofs, but then I decided no, I want it. Um, two story so I went to floors and made it two story building I should see that soon yep here yeah. oh wait what am I doing <laughs> um oh yeah now I'm going to floors okay I was just thinking there I think um so I placed these um there will be screenshots and a little tour at the end if you guys like stay tuned and want to see that. Um, I'm just trying to find a ladder to place and things. Um, so I put a ladder there and you can climb up it quite easily. But um, I then go into this and put these on and decide that I won't be able to do that because. Um, Actually, wait, that might not be here. Wait. Sorry about this, it's quite kind of unprofessional. Okay, yeah, I do. I do decide not to do that. I move that over to there and um, make sort of a walkway around the whole thing. Um, just so we have a little bit of a foundation there, I showed you the little well, 111 trunk. Um, so here I'm, I've almost finished making the walkway around. Oh, 
Um, I delete these like later on because I realise I don't need them in the middle and I want it to be fairly open plan. And um, yeah. Um, if you're if you watch this, please like, obviously please like and can you comment down below what build you like to see next if you want to see one. Um, it really helps me out and I, I then know what you guys expect so thanks um Alex I think Alex will be uploading a video soon or may have already uploaded it um check our Twitter to see when we're uploading all our times are posted on there and it's in our channel bio so up onto your computer and you can see that um I'm here to see if we can put a scaffolding ramp on and we can't and then I see these really cool ladder like things later on these so it looks like a proper ladder and a loft but they won't fit in because they only fit into the scaffolding and warehouse so i decided just to use the normal stairs again um and here i think i begin working on the second floor um um i just try to see like what things the warehouses have and i found these nice doors so I decided to use their doors, um, and if I wait, <laughs> place that on, and then I place that one. So we've got some nice warehousey doors. Um, the next part, in the next part, we'll finish off furnishing it. Also, this is my character. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's custom armour. I'll try and link that down below. Um, if not, just search like um, Bethesda or like the website for. Um, I think it's combat pants with um, flannel shirt, but I'm not sure. Um, I put these in because I think they look kind of cool, but I had to end up taking them out because of the roof I put on because um, I wanted this roof with skylights but they're not compatible with the roof so yeah um, here I decided to put in windows that's why I've left the gaps so um, so I'm putting in the windows here and I think they're kind of coming alright I think the place is really coming to life and looks not lived in because there's no furniture yet, but it looks like a place you would survive in things. Um, so yeah. So here we're deciding on a roof to have, and that's when I spot the one with the skylights. Um, I don't end up using this one, just in case you're wondering. Because um, I look through and then I find this one, and I think I want to use this one, but then I find the one with the skylights later on after this. So I find this. And that one. There. Um, just align that one properly. And then it works. Um, I try to find a way to, to like get it to work, but then I decide to use these ones instead. Because I feel like they work a lot better with the build, and since it's supposed to be quite a nice looking place, even though it's for survival, I decided to add them in. Um, so this upstairs area is going to be the bedroom and things like that and um, the downstairs will just be the living room and mainly the crafting area and the gym because we're going to add a gym in um, and things. Um, the rest of the island is going to have stuff. We're going to have like, um, I think I might add a trading area for the settlers. Well, not the settlers, but for me, I'll like put some settlers on the island and so on. 
um, in this clip I'm just furnishing the start of the boxcars and things and I'm trying to power up the place <coughs> um, so I, I put a little lamp in but it has no power so we then decide we have to power up the whole place and yeah um, first of all we actually um, get a newspaper though from Low Poly's Furniture Pack you should totally go and download that it's a really good mod um, I've been using it since the start it's just quite good um, so we put a newspaper down with a little pencil on it as if I'm doing a crossword in the morning on my chair um, or something or one of the old crosswords from one of the old pre-war papers but um, yeah I'll put some thermostats down because I like to think that he has heating even though it's <laughs> in the nuclear apocalypse so yeah there's that um, so yeah this is where we start to wire up the whole thing and get some generators in I think of having these little generators and I try to put it under there but then I decide that won't work so I go around the whole thing and then to this little area which it doesn't fit for some reason so I just decide to leave it there and um yeah put them in and that's it really also I've put these little concrete barricades around the um, scaffolding so you can't see under the house or crawl under the house because um, that might be like a place where NPCs get stuck if you try to put them on this island I don't think the island is that well nav meshed because um, the mod author didn't really make this for settlers they made it for like sort of to build a player home one which is why I'm doing this <coughs> so um, Beware with settlers if you try to put them in yourself if you download this mod because they may crash your game. Um, but I'm basically just doing this and things. Um, and when I get towards the end of this clip, you'll see me. Um, I think I'll start to do the furniture. The furniture, so I'm not sure. But Um, I don't know why I'm just sitting still like this. Um, <coughs> let's just wait a second. Sorry about that, I accidentally hit my mic. <coughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing. So that last clip was just me putting some furniture in and things like that. Um, I I stopped the voiceover because of um, like me just pausing it for a, 
a while, but um, in this one I'm wiring up some stuff and I put in a water filter so this is practical for survival so you can go and get water and things. And um, I try around a lot of what to put in, um, like powered water pumps and things, but I decide in the end that I'll put like um, a water purifier in and I, I use that advanced water purifier, but I have to try and find a location to put it in. Um, that I can fit it in, so yeah, watch out for that. It's a really good island, though. Um, I definitely recommend you to download this mod. I end up putting this over here, there. Um, and I think about putting another one, but I decided not to. Um, if you wonder how I got so many resources, it's a ch cheat mod. Um, where you get a holotape and you can just spawn items in. I only spawn in building materials for building videos like this. I, um, So I try to find a location for this solar panel, um, so it can hook up to this, and I think I find a location, yep, there in the end, um, near there. Um, so, that, yeah, I place it there and that hooks up fine, so, oh, does it, oh yeah, I move it around, and now it should, soon. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, Bella. Um, it hooks up fine, and then I I was thinking a bit about what to do with that space, and I think I might try to like make a improvised sort of boat. And I look at these conduits, and I think, um, can I do power underground sort of, um, or like going across the walls and things, um, like people wiring, but. I don't really know how to use them that much because I haven't tried them out. I might do a video trying them out, but um, so I didn't. I decided not to do that, and I came back and just looked around. There's the thing again, the trunk. Um, uh, I place some walls now because, like, um, I build. Um, a room um, sort of like f I wouldn't say fitness room yeah a gym that's what I'd call it um, sorry my brain's not working today um, I built a gym from the new like vault tech DLC because that adds loads of gym machines and things like that and um, if we're skipping ahead a bit that's I've just done stuff like adding pillars and things it's because some of the clips that aren't really relevant i just chop out and so on um um so here i'm trying to find a proper doorway for the gym um so i go into a lot of things and in the end i find it in wood in miscellaneous miscellaneous i don't know how to pronounce it but um I find it in there, and yeah. Yeah, in here. Miscellaneous, however you pronounce it. Sorry if it's hurting your head because of how I pronounce it. Um, <coughs> so you use that and then you have the caps to fill it in. So it looks like a proper doorway. Thanks for watching, bye.